This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for designing and creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. I am so excited to be vlogging because so many things have been going on. Currently, I am working on some little ceramic babies. I have made so many things in the past few days I wanna show you guys. If you guys don't know, I have a sale tomorrow, May 7th on like real time. So if you missed it, don't worry. My shop should be opening pretty soon online. But I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing because I've been making so much stuff the past few days. First of all, I made these Rizzo prints of Fish Mao, which is my little hamster, if you guys don't know. Like, look how cool this is. It's a bunch of fishies and it turned out so well. Ah, I love it. I love it so much. Look at him. He's so round. But this is the first time that I've ever used the Rizzo machine and it's basically like a manufactured screen print so it's really really cool. But I did this illustration for it and I just thought it was like the cutest thing ever. So I made them into sticker sheets and this is actually so exciting because these are the first sticker sheets I've ever made and I think they're so cute. They're little fishies. And so yeah, it's a really nice texture. I actually love this. I haven't used any yet because I don't really know what to use it for but I have got like 50 of these manufacturers. I will be selling them tomorrow as well. So many things. I also made a bunch of screen prints. Do so you guys want to see my updated bag of screen prints? This is my bag of stuff. It's like filled with screen prints. Um, we have some in the front. These are like the fishy ones. So I have a bunch of them packaged as you can see. These are very, they're very pretty and pink and I love them. Next, we have a couple of the party animal ones left. We have like a blue one, a white one. I sold most of these on my last sale. I also have some cheer up club ones. This one is left. We have a couple of the pink ones left. Um, and then we also have a couple on like the pink paper. So many, I'm very excited. We have a bunch of these cake ones that you guys saw in my last video that I screen printed and these came out so cute surprisingly. I didn't think I was gonna like this design a lot, but like I think they're pretty cute. So these are going for pretty cheap because the design is honestly not my favorite, but like I think it's pretty cute. I want to mostly get rid of them. When I say I want to get rid of something, it sounds kind of mean, but like honestly, if I could sell a bunch of stuff before I move out, that would be fantastic. And then we have a bunch of these shop local posters. So many of them, we have them in blue, orange. Oh, that one's orange. Uh, do I have any gray ones left? Yes, we have one gray one left, oh my God. And then I am also offering misprints for the first time. Um, just in loose sheets. So we have some of the shop local ones. We have a lot of the cake ones that are misprinted because I never printed CMYK before. So a lot of these are whatever. And then we also have some fish mile misprints. These are all like super blurry or something's wrong with them. So these gotta go too. But this is my big bag of prints and I'm very excited. And also, if you guys want to see more detailed pictures of my prints, I actually put them up on my website. So thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And let's talk about how they helped me build the perfect website because, oh my God, they made it so easy and amazing. If you guys don't know what Squarespace is, they are a platform perfect for creating your own website and they literally make it so easy. I don't know anything about coding, but listen guys, I have been doing a lot of work on my website. So now I have my illustration portfolio on my website. And also I have opened my own shop a officially off of Etsy and there are many reasons why you should get off of third party platforms and make your own website for your shop. This took me so much work but I am so happy that I officially have my own online shop because you can avoid so many fees and Squarespace makes it so easy. So I've really enjoyed using Squarespace and as an artist it is so important to have your online portfolio on a website. It makes it so professional looking and it's so good for you and for business. As you can see I've linked my shop website directly to my original website so that people can access it that way. And if you want to get anything from my shop, there's some stuff left over from my sale that's in there. Check the link in the description box below. Really love Squarespace for this. They made it so easy for me to set up my own 
site off of Etsy so I can avoid all of those fees because you guys know Etsy's been going crazy. And if you guys want to check it out for yourself, you can head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang for 10% off your purchase and you can use my code Tiffany Wang. So enjoy, make your own websites, be professional, be great online. And yeah, I hope to see you guys on my shop website. I'm kind of worried because I don't know how it's going to go because I don't know if you guys can tell right now, the weather's a little bit gloomy. The sale got moved from outdoors to indoors. So now it is in the Prov Wash building, which means a lot less foot traffic, a lot less people, and it's gonna be on a rainy day. So probably less people in general. So I probably won't sell as much stuff as I wanted to, but that's okay. We're just gonna do our best. Nothing I can really control at this point. I have been working on some ceramic babies that you guys have probably been seeing on Twitch if you follow me, but they are literally, so cute, oh my god. So this is one of them. And I have had these ceramic babies for a while. If you want to see, I actually made a video on literally making them. And I made these guys when I was in a ceramic class last semester and they were actually just for a random clay test. So I didn't have to make them cute at all. Most of the clay tests that we did actually turned out looking like just little pucks, like this one has a heart on it. So most of them have no real purpose to them and they're pretty boring looking, so I'm probably gonna throw these away before I move out. But a lot of the ones that I did end up making, I made really cute. And so you guys saw that I made them as these little like baby people. But the problem was a lot of them were cracked just because of my clay tests. The nature of the clay is not like I really did anything wrong or the kiln did anything wrong. It's just like the way the clay is. But I wanted to sell them because I figured it'd be such a waste to throw them away. So I started painting them a few days ago and it was going pretty pretty well. I got the base coat on all of them and I actually streamed a lot of it on Twitch as well. So if you guys didn't see, you guys should subscribe to my Twitch, but I was painting them and I actually, during one of the streams, like figured out a cute design that I wanted to do because as I was painting them, I still didn't really like them. And I think that's like something that's really hard when you're working on some art and you don't even like it to begin with. But somehow I always pull through and I figure out like a way to make it enjoyable. I always say I'm not gonna spend a lot of energy on something and then I end up spending way too much energy on it. I wanna share with you guys the process. So let's just have a little throwback of the footage from a few days ago. This is how I've been painting the little strawberries and this is in real time because I want you guys to appreciate how much time I spent doing these little guys. Like I said, I figured out a design earlier that I realized was working and the pink ones that I'm painting right now were actually originally different colors. Like some of them were green and some of them were like this gross shade of blue. Like I was not really planning these designs very well. So I had them a bunch of different colors and they all were just not working with me. So when I finally figured out that this strawberry design is my favorite, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna paint over the ones that weren't working and just use a design that I know for sure will work because not only does it save me time, but it was also so cute that I was like, I need more of these. So we're just painting on the little strawberry caps right now, but I'm doing the same design for multiple of these because I want to sell them. And also I also want to keep a few of them. So if I keep a few of them i'll still have a couple to sell does that make sense the quantity the math is it adding up but yeah this was very exciting to do because the design has already been planned out so like the hard part is over so now i can just do the tedious meditative part of art which is just doing the same thing over and over again and i really don't mind that to be honest i quite enjoy it and i think that's probably one of my favorite parts of art is when i can just turn my brain off and like no longer think about it i don't know but yeah we're just gonna paint a bajillion one of these straws as you can see, this guy is done, so we're just gonna set him down. He's looking beautiful. If you look closely in the background, there's actually a couple of little chocolate ones that are already finished because I finished those a while ago. And this project took me a couple of days. I spent basically like the whole week up to this sale just preparing, and a lot of that time was spent painting these little guys. So I definitely put in the man hours to make this worth it. Also, you guys saw what they look like before and I didn't feel like selling them was like right when they were that ugly because I want to take pride in my work. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put in the extra time and make sure these are cute so that like not only am I happy putting more things out into the universe, but like also everyone else is happy. And I don't know, I get kind of existential sometimes when I think about selling stuff. It's a very complicated thing to think about, but 
Also, we have a couple of different other designs as well, and I don't actually like them as much, but I thought they were good enough. So you'll probably see them later on in the video, but right now we're gonna focus on painting these strawberries. And I really love this shade of like pinkish reddish that I'm using for the strawberries because it's actually different from the original shade. And that's one of the nice things about being able to revisit a pattern that you've already basically come up with and like finalized is that you can finally make these little tweaks that I didn't really have the chance to do the first time around. So if you look closely at the little chocolate guys in the background, the strawberries on them are a lot darker and pinker. And I just think these new like refined colors are just more soothing to look at. Overall, like a better pattern, I guess. So I'm able to do these little, little changes to my design and also for the one I'm currently painting, the strawberries are actually two different shades, which I think adds even more like fun and interesting things to look at within the pattern. So yeah, <laughs> but I'm also just trying to use up some of the acrylic paint that I have so that when I move out, you know, don't have to carry acrylic paint with me. All of my thoughts right now are just focused on moving out and getting rid of things. But yay, another guy is finished. Another little strawberry baby, a straw baby, if you will. And now we're gonna move on to another one and just do the same thing again. And I also love this little green color that I came up with. I think this color is also better than the original design. And so now we're gonna start adding the little different textures and details to each of them. So they're all a little bit different. So the one I just did actually has some green sprinkles and this guy is gonna have something new because I only did one with green sprinkles. I also have to fill in their little faces, of course, so that, you know, they have a little characteristic. But this guy has some little stars and stars are so tedious to paint. I need to figure out a better way to do this. I'm thinking about stencils, but I haven't done them yet. But as you can see, we're doing some little stars to fill in the negative space because I cannot stand negative space for the life of me. And so that's what we're gonna do for that one. And at some point I also made like a little vanilla one. They're all very, very cute. So you'll see them later on in the video. Yeah, it's like a chocolate dipped in strawberry type vibes because I love chocolates dipped in strawberry and they're so good. And I think the colors are so cute. I have a couple that are different, but overall it's the little strawberry guys. I just think that this design is like one of the best designs I've ever come up with. And I've been debating on the prices, but I think I've realized that if I don't sell them, I can put them online and then sell them otherwise. And now they are all pretty much finished and done. So the only last step is to glaze them. And I have been using this Liquitex Professional High Gloss Varnish, which I've actually had for the longest time. I've had this probably two years now and I never once used it. I bought it for a different project that I thought I was going to use it for. I think I was using some water-based paint, so it was making it run. I've been glazing them with this and it actually has been working out like so well, I'm really surprise this is one of the cups that are not as well glazed but this one is probably the one that I've done the most coats on as you can see it's very glossy and nice and you may be asking Tiffany why are you not using UV resin like you always do and the reason is UV resin is really bad for you resin in general is really bad for you I'm not here to necessarily do like a PSA but I do kind of want to talk about it because I have been trying to move away from resin in general the reason I was using it is because the quality is really good but it's bad for you, it's like bad for the environment, all that stuff. Will I completely cut out resin from my life? No, but if I can find a substitute, I am actually, I am absolutely down to try it. So I'm really glad that this is coming out. It's not perfect. And I'm gonna glaze one of these while we're chatting about it because it's not like it's a perfect substitute for resin, but it definitely has been, it definitely has been not as bad um, as I would have thought. And the glaze is really clear and glossy. Also, I was painting on super uneven surfaces to begin with because these clay babies are not my best work in terms of how the clay was formed around them. As you can see, they're coming out pretty smooth, but I'm gonna keep using it as long as it works. So this is my first time trying it and I'm happy with how it's turning out, but my last steps are to glaze these guys so that they are ready to be sold. And then I'm also going to, sorry, how to finish that one. And I'm also going to add little like fabric inside of them because as you can see, the insides I left like this and they're very cracked on the inside, which I'm aware of. I want to be transparent about, but also as a finished product, I don't want it to be cracked like that on the inside, so I'm going to cover it up with some felt, I think. Overall, these guys are coming out so, so cute. I'm actually getting very attached to them, and I think I'm actually gonna end up keeping more of them than I was anticipating, but like, look at them, so cute. So yeah, I have a couple of the strawberry ones. Let me see how many I have. 
let me show you all the variations I have. We have this one, um, this one. These are pretty similar. They're both strawberries with stars. Put them back. They're kind of heavy. This one is the one that I might keep just because it's been speaking to me. As you can see, he's very cute. Same thing. They all look really, really similar. And then we have a lot of the cups as well. So I've been making little sets. I probably might end up keeping like three of them. I was initially gonna sell all of them, but like I kind of love them, you know? So that's good though. Like if I like them, then I feel confident about selling them. I don't like selling things that I don't personally like because I feel like, you know, people spend money and money is hard to make and I want it to be worth their money. So we have these. And then we have some other ones that are not quite my taste. This guy's a little rainbow guy. He's pretty cute. And then we have some cloud babies as well. These guys have little clouds on them, little stars. Yeah, overall my desk has been a mess with these little guys lately, but I don't mind them taking over my life because they're so cute. I think I only have to glaze like a couple more of them. So we are almost, almost done. Um, let me check and see which ones I have left to do. I think this guy could use one more coat. This is one of the vanilla chocolate strawberry ones or white chocolate strawberry ones, whatever you want to call it. I've just been doing like a thin layer on all of them. And if you do like two or three coats, it gets really nice. So I'm gonna try this glaze on my polymer clay stuff as well, but I'm gonna just give him a quick glaze and I'm gonna leave him to dry. This stuff also air dries, which is like better than resin. There he is! So this one is like a vanilla one, which is very, very cute. I think I may or may not have just finished all of them. OMG. So yeah, I also have, these have been sitting underneath my desk for the longest time. Never even opened them. I have these boxes that are for packaging them for like when people buy them. And I also have bags because I really prepared for this, my last sale and I was gonna sell them. I was gonna sell them naked, okay? I don't know why I thought that was gonna be like a good idea because I didn't have them painted or anything. But like they're literally so cute. Now I kind of like, I don't wanna part with them. What if I just keep all of the strawberry ones. No, I'll probably sell a couple of the strawberry ones. I do really, really love them. And if I don't sell them, I won't be upset about it. That was a thing before was that like, if I didn't sell all of them, I was going to be sad about it because I wanted to get rid of them. But now that I like them, end up keeping a few of them. I'm okay with that, but I'm going to go ahead and get them all sorted on my desk so I can take some nice pictures because I probably won't ever have all of them again because <laughs> I hope I can sell a couple of them tomorrow. I need to do their finishing touches first, but I want to show you guys what I have. This is the realities of what my desk has been looking like. We have some other babies as well, but we also have the strawberry ones, as you can see. This over here is, oh, they're having a conversation. That's so cute. These are where the completely finished ones have been. So we have these ones. We have my coffee, LOL. This one is done. This guy is done. This one is done. I don't know why he's sitting there like that. This one is done. And this guy is done as well. So I guess we only have four of these strawberry ones. I'm already gonna be keeping i'm debating on keeping one or two of them so only two of them might be for sale and then we have a couple of the cup ones as well and i might be keeping those we have this guy in the back that i made randomly i kind of want to keep him too i don't know i suddenly want to keep everyone because they're all so cute and oh my god my banana boo fell down get up but yeah my desk has been crazy lately some of them are only one of a kind like this guy there's only one of them here's the family so far and i'm starting to want to keep all of them <laughs> maybe i'll make more in the future I don't know. So now I can finally clean up my desk. I can finally put away all of my paints that I've been using. Very satisfying. I've actually been working on these guys for the past like three days probably. And it was only today when I was meeting with one of my professors that I realized that it's Friday and the sale is tomorrow morning. So I feel kind of crazed, but we are cleaning up the desk and I am very excited. So we're gonna have all of our little babies. Let's just get rid of everything that we don't need. Also, do you guys wanna see what I bought on Amazon? Hold on. Can we just talk about this little car? It's so cute. Oh my God, it's a little really cool car. $12 on Amazon. Yes, I can throw away this bowl with like varnish. I can peel the paint off my palette knife. Should I have rinsed it at the time? Yes, but did I? No, so now we can just like peel it off and it's satisfying and nice. Cleaning up for the next stage of the project. I'm excited to be done with these so I can prepare the other stuff I need to for the sale. I need to do some pricing. Um, and I think other than that, I'm pretty much good to go. So, so satisfying. <laughs> also, palette paper. Oh, I'm just spilling pieces of paint on the ground. 
most satisfying thing to throw away because now it's good as new baby like we never even used it amazing fantastic wow but yeah let's clean up this desk so that i can get all my babies in a row <laughs> here are all of my strawberry babies we also have some of the other guys over there i don't like as much but you know that audio that's like if you're not real then how come i feel this way little babies because that's literally exactly how i feel OMG, I am in the presence of absolute babies. So you guys can see. They're literally... They're so cute. They all have little faces. Look at them. I literally love them. Oh my god. They are all just the cutest little guys ever. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue some felt on the bottom and on the top. So let me dig out my felt from wherever it is in my drawers. Okay, we got some baby blue. Actually, we have a lot of baby blue. I forgot I bought this for something prior. So these will be for the cloud ones, like these guys. We have some cream, which is what I was thinking about using for these ones, as well as we have pink too that we can use for these guys if we want. So I have a bunch of different colors. I need to get out my hot glue gun too, I guess. Okay, so we have so many of these little guys. Let's do you. Let's rearrange everyone. So first thing we're gonna do is do the base. So I have my felt. I think I'm gonna use this cream color. I'm just gonna eyeball a circle. That's probably the right size. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna measure it against it. And as you can see, it's a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna trim the circle so it's the right size. That looks about right. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on this circle. And then we're just gonna put the circle on. And before the glue dries, I'm going to just like smash it down like this because hot glue is pretty moldable and I want the base to be as flat as possible. So this way it just guarantees that it'll be able to sit well. Getting all these scraps. So uh, you are unfortunately our designated trash can. Now I cut a square of felt so that hopefully, yes, it fits inside like that. I'm going to try to mold it to the base there. Oh, so cute. And we're just going to this out like this. And try to keep the shape of it. Now we're gonna just put some glue on here. And more importantly, bottom here at the base, we'll around the rim here. And we can touch that up later. But we're gonna go ahead and put this back in. Try to get the bottom first and then go around the sides. Now I'm just gonna touch up the sides here, add glue where I need it, and on the inside. So far this guy came out so cute and I think these ones would be better with a brown felt. So I'm gonna run to the RISD store really quick cause I need to go there anyway. And I also need to ship out some mail. A couple of people have found my secret online shop and bought some stickers for me. So we have Sophie, Elise, Raven, Juliza, and Margaret. And I'm gonna ship out these letters to them. So we're gonna just drop these off at the mail room. And I'm also going to buy some brown felt if they have it at the RISD store. I'm hoping they do. Cause this one made sense. It was actually on a wig. I was expecting to do all of them with this color, but as you can see, this is a little vanilla strawberry guy, so he gets the vanilla felt, but it is so nice and soft, and I love him, so we're going to more of them. Yes! Woo! I'm gonna see what the Rizzi store has because they're pretty limited on a lot of stock, so hopefully they have what I'm looking for, but we will see. Okay, okay, okay. I'm back from the store. I got a sheet of white because I need one more to finish my stuff. I got this bright pink because I thought like this would be cute. Like the pink is the same shade. So like it fits so well. So I'm like, maybe we'll do some with a little bit of pink. The brown is very dark, which is why I think it'll be better for like a base or maybe I'll use the pink for all of it to be on. Honestly, I'm looking at it right now. The pink I feel like is a better match than the brown. So now we just have two of these. Maybe I'll return them. Probably not. It was like 50 cents total, <laughs> but we'll make do with what we have, you know? So yeah, I just heated up my hot glue gun again getting ready to finish. I am excited. There's some that really resonate with me. I think this one, this one I'm keeping. And then the cups, mm, I like
like this one? Or do I like this one? This one's like lopsided, so I feel like I should keep him because he's like, he's special in his own way. So let's, um, I was debating on keeping two of the strawberry ones actually. But like, what am I gonna do with them, you know? Anyway, I'm definitely keeping this one. So let's go ahead and cut out the base for him. Or we'll do a cup first. Let's do this one because this one's definitely gonna get pink because it has all the green. So let's just cut out a circle that looks like it will fit the shape of our cup. That looks pretty good. Yeah, we're just gonna put the glue on like we've been doing. There we go. And then put it on and then smush. Ta-da, get a little base. Amazing. What I've learned so far is that the insides actually take a lot more felt than you think they will. Maybe not this much, but the pink is looking cute. This might fit one of the bigger ones. Yeah, that will definitely do for one of the bigger ones. So we'll cut a slightly smaller one for this one. That looks better. It looks like a little flower. That is so cute. I think that is looking pretty good. Apply the glue like normal in here as well. Jam this in there. Get it in all of the crevices. Yeah. There's this one. So cute. Oh my God. I love the pink. They are looking so cute. See, this is the brown that I had before and it's a lot less overbearing. I don't know why the new dark browns are like basically black, but I think I'll use this for a base for some of them. Also just to use up the materials that I have already. Stick that on and smush. Nice little felt base. And now like, it's so quiet when you put it on a table. That's so nice. It's so satisfying to put like these bases on them. So we are just finishing some of these guys up, but the pink ones, so cute. I also did some with the light pink, as you can see. Um, this one is the one I'm going to keep, I think, because he just speaks to me. I don't know why. <laughs> But yeah, they're turning out so, so cute. This one is the one that we need to finish. This one was the one that was treated like a trash can. I'm sorry. Let's do a light pink base on him with light pink inside, so. Oh wow, so crazy to think. I've gotten like so attached to these since painting them just because like, honestly, I did put a lot of time, more time than I was expecting to, to make these guys. And now I'm just like, these are my babies. And I hope they go to some good homes tomorrow. I also have to wake up so early tomorrow and I have to do my makeup and get ready. So even though I have to be out the door at like, Eight. I'll probably have to wake up at like 7.30. But yeah, we're gonna hot glue the circle and then we are going to attach it to the base. That, and then we're gonna smoosh it down. <laughs> bye bye, so cute. He's so cute. They all turned out so, so cute. I'm very happy. Every single one I finish, I'm like, I wanna keep you. <laughs> so it's good that I made a bunch of these, but even though I made a bunch of them, I still wanna keep all of them. <laughs> But yeah, I think the these ones are just gonna have the top be normal because I don't think anything could really go in there without like looking weird, a little, a little hat. So I think these guys are just going to stay like this. They're so cute, oh my God. Straight up babies. I love them. I'm gonna miss you guys. Okay, I officially finished. Here is everyone, even the ones that I don't really like. LOL, we have some cloud ones as well. But most importantly, all of the different strawberry ones, they are so cute. We have this one miscellaneous heart one as well, and then this rainbow one, which is pretty cute. Ah, I am so happy to have finished all of them. I have some more preparations to do tonight, but I think overall we are pretty much done. Ah, I am so happy. I think they came out literally so cute. Look at them, babies. I'm gonna miss them so much. They can hold hands. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna take some good pictures of them right now because like I said, I will hopefully be selling most all uh, some of them tomorrow so i want to document them before they are gone forever and off to better new homes but i'm going to also do some cleanup right now we have two of these really simple ones that are really cute with the felt as you can see so these will be selling for a lot cheaper than the other ones obviously because it took a lot less to paint them but yeah i think they all came out so cute look at all of them go ah 
so happy trying to take some nice photos i took a picture of my desk it's pretty funny because it's just like so chaotic but honestly even though i don't like some of them i'm gonna miss them when they're gone sad but they're so cute omg so a little photo time i did not get the like perfect photos for these just because honestly i was so exhausted but these are some of the photos that i did take and i think they are good enough and honestly i'll probably make something similar to this again in the future just because i love the design so much so hopefully i'll be able to make more of these someday omg my friend from home actually wanted to buy one off of me right now so i'm going to just go ahead and pack it up and she wanted the little heart guy so i'm going to put him in here and i have some tissue paper baby and he will hang out in here for a while for the time being but this guy's already sold so we have some last minute preparations that I did late tonight and one of the things was just drawing this on some of the bags, you know, I just wanted to like really personalize it and also walking advertisement, hello! And also we're gonna make some price, price cards. cards as well. I know I'm using these little stands upside down, I don't care. <laughs> I like the way they are this way because people are standing when they come by so it's easier to have it at this angle, but just pricing some of them. This is what I have so far. Pretty good. Yeah. I have a few more left to do, but yep, these are the plans for today. And pack everything up and get ready for tomorrow. Cheers to 7 a.m. Hot pocket time, baby. And so here's some quick little footage of me just setting up for the sale and then the actual sale itself. By the time I had time to whip out my camera, I actually already sold two of the ceramic babies because they went so fast and I'm so happy, but I didn't get a good chance to vlog the actual event, but it was really fun because I had a bunch of boxes and people were carrying my bags and that was really cool. So I had a really great time. All the ceramic babies sold pretty much, so we just have some strawberry ones left, but overall it was a great sale. Okay, so now I'm back. I am exhausted. I feel like every time I do one of these events, I'm just, I love meeting everyone and it's so fantastic and it's literally like the best experience. But at the same time, um, my social battery is just drained right now. So I've just been laying in bed scrolling on TikTok for a little bit, but I'm back and it was so great. It went so much better than I was expecting. I feel like I thought it wasn't going to go super well just because it was supposed to rain today and that's why they moved it indoors the last minute. Location change is not always, you know, ideal deal and it doesn't always go well because of that um they move the location like a day in advance basically so there wasn't a lot of time if people didn't get the right address or anything i was worried it was gonna rain and just like no one would want to go outside which means that no one would want to come here obviously yeah there were so many people and it was so great it was only slow for about 20 minutes maybe at some point after the initial rush and then it was great from then on um i want to thank everyone for coming out i really appreciate it i know it was a lot of Rizzy students but also everyone that comes like from out of state just to see me I really really appreciate it and it was so good and now I have enough funds to keep going for quite a while so that's always really good I'm not sure if that's like what other people think about I don't really necessarily think about it when I'm buying other artists work but like it really supports so much and now I'm gonna open my online shop um so by the time this video comes out my shop will probably be open already I probably made an announcement video but yeah you can shop my art at tiffany.com I am excited I'm happy. Me and my friend are gonna go out and get lunch now because um, I got money. And also, yeah, I need to eat. Um, I only ate a hot bucket this morning. So I think we're gonna go to Shake Shack because we got these coupons like earlier in the week or in the month. We I, I can get a free hot dog. So I guess that's what I'm doing. But overall, it was so great. Oh my God, the setup was great. Of course, I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to. The first picture I took of my table setup didn't even have everything on it because people came in so fast and i think some people that watch um my videos or like my instagram really wanted the babies the ceramic babies so those were gone or the ones that people wanted were gone pretty quickly and then after that it slowly trickled um i had some last minute purchases but like everything went so well and i am so happy so yeah it was so great and i loved it um 
I want to do more sales. It's a lot of fun. I would do them again. So yeah, after I graduate, definitely something I'm going to look into. But yes, that is the extent of my update from the bed. I'm going to go get ready and go eat soon. Um, so yeah, I feel like that is everything. So I can just end the video here. I'll insert a clip of my hot dog. I'm sure it's not that interesting, but yes, there is hot dog. And thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me. Literally means so, so much to me. And updates on the babies. I did sell all of the babies except for one strawberry baby and I think three of the cups. Three of the strawberry cuppy guys, but everything else went so also hello everyone this is editing tiff a few days later and i wanted to come and talk about my online shop again you guys can check out everything down below and the babies will not be online i'm very sorry they mostly all sold out so i'm not going to be listing any of them but if you want to see what else is in my online shop i have a lot of stickers a lot of prints a lot of that good stuff and i'm currently in the process of moving so if you want to help me move you can help me by depleting my stock and buying from my shop that was so great i'm going to rest and go eat a hot dog so thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out with me thank you for supporting my art as always even if you can't make it to the sale or if you you know can't spend anything just like you guys watching and like being there for me means so so much and like i cannot express that enough i know i talk about like things i'm selling a lot but like literally just you guys watching is like amazing but thank you guys so much i will see you guys in the next video stay hydrated take a nap i will see you when i see you bye